Hi, this particular video we're going to be looking at probability trees. Now you'll be able to click on the link below in the description and have a look at some of the questions and try them for yourself. In this particular question we've been given two things to do. The first one is to complete the probability tree and the second one is to calculate the probability that Hannah wins both matches. One of which is a badminton match which she's obviously very good at because nine out of ten matches she plays she wins and then tennis two out of five matches that she plays she wins okay so we're going to complete this well let's look just initially at badminton well nine out of ten times she wins so therefore one out of ten times she doesn't win and then it's exactly the same with tennis now at the moment if you just ignore the bottom bit and just look at tennis on its own we've got this um, tree here it's called a tree diagram so two out of five times she wins which means that three out of five times she doesn't win okay and it's the same with this one we just simply repeat the exercise now the reason that we do that is to answer the second part of the question, which is this one here, the probability that Hannah wins both matches. Okay, and the way we do that is we look along the lines, the branches themselves, and we look at the outcomes. Now the outcome for these top lines here is win at badminton, and win at tennis. Now that will actually answer this particular question that we've got here, a win-win. Okay, now the next one, just, just for the sake of completeness here, you've got win and lose. So she wins at badminton and loses at tennis, and then she loses at badminton and wins at tennis, and she loses both matches and has a very bad day. Okay, so to answer the question here, the probability that Hannah wins both matches, we look at the win for badminton, which is nine out of 10, and we look at the win for tennis, which is two out of five, and then we simply multiply both fractions together. Now, if we do that, we get nine times two is 18, and on the bottom, we get 10 times five, which is 50. Now if you wanted to also that would answer the question but it's really good practice when you're dealing with fractions to reduce that to the lowest possible values which is 9 out of 25. So in other words what we're saying is for every 25 games of badminton and tennis that Hannah plays she wins nine times both games. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a, a comment below, like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're not sure about anything, please do add a comment and I will always come back to you. Or you can follow the link through and have a look at some questions and try them for yourselves. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.